a new report about the water you're drinking from plastic bottles. It's a sobering study and could have profound health implications on the way we consume water. What's been going on? I ain't been able to breathe hardly. January 8, 2024, the proceedings of the National Academy of Science. The researchers found that on average, a liter of bottled water included about 24,000 tiny pieces of plastic. About 90% of these plastic fragments were nanoplastics. All right, guys, this is downright dangerous for your health, and it's been happening right underneath your noses. You won't believe what's accepted to put into our bodies on a daily basis. And I'm talking about, you guys think you're doing all right with purified water coming out of a bottle? Well, what if I told you some of them are straight from tap water? It's not difficult to come by. Short videos that are exposed explaining to you how some people are poisoning themselves daily, day in and day out. There's a lot of things in there you don't want to be drinking. Chlorine in particular really screws up your microbiome, fluoride, heavy metals, pharmaceutical drugs. Another big one is pesticides like glyphosate, atrazine, or, and microplastics too. We were talking about with yep. lower testosterone is playing a huge factor in our health. And have you guys heard that the infrastructure is so old that the White House, I think, recently came out and said, that it would take a trillion dollars to re-up everything. Do you think they're gonna put the money there? Nope. How much research have you guys really done? Have you heard of a TDS meter? So look, faucet water versus clean water. Ooh, in the red, not good. You guys want who knows what in your water or do you want clean water? with zero contaminants, with zero matter in it. This is absolutely purified water. With that, we're gonna go over a major problem that is getting worse daily and is happening right now that you guys must know about. And we're also gonna give you a solution, including giving one of these bad boys right over there out for free, along with another one that goes underneath the cabinets, along with the one that I use for the test underneath the sink. Crazy important information you guys need to know, free stuff and ways to solve the problem. Coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you wanna know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. So look guys, today I've got some very, very important information for you. Please listen up because I think this affects probably most everyone. And if I had to put money on it, I would say that this is probably one huge denominator why so many people have so many health issues. And if you don't have them yet and you're drinking this water, you might turn into somebody with issues a little earlier, a little premature. So like I said, I've got a tester, I do some tests. In fact, in the two giveaways, I'm gonna try to get them to throw this thing in for free. That way you guys can go test your water for yourselves. So again, we're gonna give away two really good water purifiers. They've got reverse osmosis, the UV light. In my opinion, top of the line styled water purifiers that I've personally been using for over a year. You guys remember what happened in Ohio? Well, I did a video on it right here. We have toxic chemicals in the air, in the water, in the ground. I have people reporting that they're seeing the rainbow effects on the top of their water coming out of their faucets. And this isn't happening just in Ohio. All of these big, huge fires, burning chemicals, burning garbage, burning recycling companies. Off the top here at 10 o'clock, officials alert residents of worsening air quality as a plant that processes garbage continues to burn. Hello and welcome everyone. This I don't know if you've noticed, but these derailments, fires, all this stuff is popping up everywhere. So I did that video following the big train spill and setting it on fire over in Ohio. I'm sure you guys remember that. Where do you think all of this stuff settles? And so much more folks, it's in our water. Anyway, that video helped a lot of people get cleaner water, a ton. And I got so many thank yous from that. And with new information of how much worse 
it has gotten, I need to do this video again. And with as worse as it's getting, and a couple hundred thousand more people that are subscribed, newer filters to show you guys, you guys aren't gonna believe some of this information I share with you. And also, before we dive in, I wanna let you know that this company is gonna give our community only 35% off any orders through our link. And that's huge, I strong-armed them for a really good discount. So regardless, if you enter in for the free one and you wanna pick one up right away, maybe they sell out, I don't know. And you happen to be a lucky one and win it, you can always send back the other one or give one away for a gift. But 35% off, I don't think you're gonna find another deal like that. But I'll go into the details of the giveaway a little bit later in the video. Let's get to some of this information. Again, please start the video off with a like, it really helps out our channel. Be sure you're still subscribed and that bell's on because sometimes that bell is the only way you're gonna know Know that I'm putting out new videos. Important information and awareness news you guys should know is on a tight leash these days. Okay, did you know, <laughs> and surprisingly, this comes from CNN Health, two thirds of young children in Chicago are exposed to dangerous lead levels in the water. The studies find there is no safe level of lead in drinking water according to the US Environmental Protection Agency. No level of lead. Interesting enough, National Geographic says otherwise. In this article, it says, how is tap water regulated? In 1974, Congress passed a Safe Drinking Water Act which gave the Environmental Protection Agency's EPA the authority to regulate public tap water. When something like lead, for example, is known to be harmful to human health, the EPA can limit for how much is allowed in water supplies. Something that's known to be harmful they're gonna regulate how much is okay. Look guys, just a simple search comes up with this. What components may make tap water unsafe? And we'll get to bottled water here in a minute. Bacteria and parasites. Tap water can contain microorganisms like bacteria or parasites that make you sick. Chemicals, both human-made and natural chemicals can make their way into drinking water. Radioactive elements. Radioactive elements, chemicals like uranium, cesium, probably said that wrong. Plutonium are sometimes detected in drinking water. Heavy metals. And don't think that you're getting off good with bottled water. Have you heard of the term microplastics? We'll get into that in a minute. And I've been wanting to tell you this one for a while. With it being easy to find all of the research on microplastics and the high elevated TDS readings on bottled water even, most of you know that I travel around on a plane a lot of places with my many businesses. And just this last year, I saw these. Boxed water. Well now, doesn't that seem like a way around microplastic, plasticky era type of issue? Crunchy, new, green way of drinking water that's safe right? And I suppose you guys think that this is probably purified water. So I'm sitting there on the plane, right? Think skeptical as I usually am. And I start researching this and I'm like, oh my goodness. Just a simple Google search. What are boxed water sources of water? Just a couple simple Google searches. Yeah, I come up with this. Where does boxed water come from? What is boxed water? Boxed water is a brand, prepackaged water, that's packaged in cartons rather than plastic bottles. Great, right? They're based out of Michigan with a second filling station in Utah. Listen, as with any other pre-packaged water, their water is simply tap water that's been packaged in something other than your faucet. And I'm thinking, tap water? Surely that doesn't come from Lake Michigan. What are the boxed water sources of water? We use municipal water so that we can feel closer to the consumer. Isn't that nice? You guys think that you're buying special water, but in fact, you're just taking your faucet water with you and they're giving it to you because they wanna feel closer to the consumer. West of the Mississippi River, our water is sourced from water that flows through the Wasatch National Forest. Product that you can receive east of the Mississippi River is sourced from Lake Michigan. Now, I don't know if you guys have done any research on Lake Michigan water, water and contaminants and chemicals, but there's plenty. For example, a plume of chemical used to manufacture firefighting has reportedly seeped into Lake Michigan's Green Bay through the groundwater. Scientists detected 17 different PFAS chemicals in the bay. One of the largest on the Great Lakes, thousands of different PFAS compounds have been manufactured since the 1940s. I'm telling you guys, you so much have to research these days. Otherwise, 
otherwise you're gonna get the blinders just pulled over your eyes. Okay, I just get worked up, but before we get to this purifier that I wanna show you, I'll show you a couple tests. I wanna give you a couple more informative things here. Look guys, unless you guys are like me, have a homestead, have tested your water, know exactly what it is, and you have well water that's good mountain well water. Not everyone has that good quality ground water, and needing clean water has never been more important. Check these people out. I don't want you to turn it out like this. In this post, they're making the rich richer and the poor poorer. They don't care nothing about no little people like us. WV's Christina Day on water sickening her and others in coal country. These guys believe that the coal mines are contaminating the water. Tell me what's been going on. I ain't been able to breathe hardly. As you can tell, I'm a little hoarse. And we've had diarrhea and stuff going on pretty bad at my house. I've heard that from other people. And uh, when you shower, have you noticed anything in terms of smell? Yeah, and it feels oily. My water's just now starting to smell from it though. Smells like rotten eggs. And you said it feel when the water touches you, it feels oily? It feels oily. He was in behind the burn clinic for about two weeks. He, he was the uh, Harlan. We just passed his house, and I told you that his well blew up on him, third degree burns. And then he had some kind of respiratory thing happen, and he was gone. Then he passed away about two weeks ago, maybe. Seems to me like they're just kind of, I don't know, sacrificing this community. Who knows? Whether it's the gas or coal, you don't exactly know who's contaminating, but. All I know is they're making the rich richer and the poor poor. They don't care nothing about no little people like us. What about the politicians? I mean, this has been going on for over a year. And from what I've seen, not, I mean, the senators, the Congress people, the governor, they haven't come down here even look at this. Evidently, they ain't got no heart. That's why I don't vote. And uh, last question, uh, are you afraid, I mean, that people are going to start dropping dead around here? I am. Actually, my mom died about five months ago. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. Are you sick for a while, or? Yeah. You, you kind of think in America that you don't have to worry about water, but. You got to worry. You got to be. You gotta leave, man. A lot of things happening, and what she said at the end rings true. You gotta worry about it. Cause it ain't just in their parts. It's everywhere. Just a couple more. Environmental health news. New data reveals that drinking water systems across America are contaminated with toxic forever chemicals affecting at least 70 million citizens. Hashtag PFAS. More stuff involving coal companies. New, as coal companies point fingers, Wyoming County residents say they're being poisoned by a contaminated creek. From Georgetown Global Health, March 22nd, don't let unseen threats lurk in your water. Contact with contaminated water exposes us to disease and drug-resistant germs that fuel the rise of antimicrobial resistance. Use household purification methods like boiling of water to ensure your water is clean and safe to drink. Look, it states globally at least 1.7 billion people use drinking water source contaminated with feces. This report right here says, I have been grappling with severe issues concerning the quality of my water supply for nearly a year now. The water we receive has a foul odor, often is brown in color, and most recent has been found containing worms. This poses a significant health risk as the water is undrinkable, leading to stomach aches, skin problems after bathing. And I showed you in the beginning, the rainbow swirls in the top of your cup. Check to see if you guys got that because listen this guy's talking about discolored water that's one thing i'm talking about water that looks clear as a bell but is not clean oftentimes you guys can't see chemicals and we're talking about contamination or added chemicals look you don't even have to dig deep these days they'll tell you january 8th 2024 the proceedings of the national academy of science the researchers found that on average a liter of bottled water included about 24,000 tiny pieces of plastic. About 90% of these plastic fragments were nanoplastics. So like I said, when you guys think 
that you're doing something good by getting bottled water, you still might be on the chopping block with that one. I'm not kidding you. And I bet you haven't seen this on the news. Army new report about the water you're drinking from plastic bottles. CBS's national environmental correspondent David Schechter has the details. It's a sobering study and could have profound health implications on the way we consume water. Scientists at Columbia and Rutgers now say an average liter of bottled water contains nearly a quarter million particles of nanoplastics, each the fraction of the width of a human hair. There's been a wealth of research on larger microplastics, much of which end up in oceans, breaking down into tiny fragments, a potential environmental nightmare, but the World Health Organization has called the medical risk low. But with nanoplastics, do you think there is a reason for concern? Yes, when they are getting into the nano size, can potentially can get into the blood and then they are can being transported to the vital organs. The particles there can actually bypass the cells of the GI system. The International Bottled Water Association says there's no scientific consensus on potential health impacts and media reports do nothing more than unnecessarily scare consumers. Have you changed your own personal use of water bottles after learning this. I intentionally cut down my water, I mean, bottled water consumption maybe by, by half. These scientists recommend consumers use tap water to fill up aluminum bottles as a safer alternative. So check it out, these scientists that are doing studies on bottled water are now leaning towards filling up their canteens from the tap water. Folks, what does that tell you? You guys remember how they said that there was no risks? Uh, nanoplastics, no big deal, right? Came across this article right here, One Green Planet, microplastics found in placentas of pregnant women. Researchers called the finding a matter of great concern. Now they say that these were either consumed or breathed in, so we, we're talking air purification, we're talking about water purification, food purification, you gotta keep all that in mind. A dozen plastic particles were found, but it's worth nothing that only 4% of the placenta was analyzed. Have you heard enough? You have to be cautious, you have to be prepared, and you seriously gotta do something about it, and that means protecting you and your family. So like I said, I did a video on this a while back. This is the newer version. The thing I like about this tabletop one or a countertop one is it's got a rear reservoir that you simply fill. Let's say the power goes out. You got a little backup power station like this, it's gonna operate that no problem. A Couple solar panels to keep that thing topped off. You're gonna have enough power to power some things. Like this guy right here, I run all of this stuff off. But as I told you before, I've been using this thing for over a year lots of good feedback it's electronic so you know where most electronic stuff comes from these days but the ticket i like about this is comparative stuff super expensive these ones come in at a good price not to mention the 35 percent off that they're giving our community now they've got lots of different options like i said under sink ones countertop ones and they've got all the filtration in them that you could think of. Uh, reverse osmosis. Me and my buddy actually installed the one underneath the sink the other day. The instructions are like, I feel like a teenager could easily follow the instructions. Basically all you needed was a drill and a crescent wrench. But the nice thing is, is with this system, there's no tank. No contamination. This is the actual one that we've been using since we just installed that one in the sink. It works absolutely fantastic. We take the container off the back, fill up that water reservoir, got your glass, pick however much water you want, push it, it works on its own. Fills it up to your desired amount. Purified water with some of the best purifying technology out there. You got the means to throw this in your sink. This is even easier to use because you don't have to refill a reservoir. You need water, fill up ice trays. You just do it right there. And if you've seen some of the other under sink ones, they're ginormous. This thing saves like up to 70% space under your sink. And it comes out a lot faster than any other one I've seen. It'll actually fill an entire glass in eight seconds. Guys, this removes everything. PFAS, chemical contaminants. TDS, heavy metals, fluoride, viruses. I know some of you out there don't like them adding fluoride to your drinking water, right? Honestly, I don't think I need to tell you anything else about this thing. It works great. I've been using it for a long time and I feel 100% secure about the water it's making. Now again, before I give you the giveaway information, I wanna show you the test I did real quick on how much TDS reading this thing has 
compared to my faucet. Now I've watched a lot of videos and I see upwards of 400 reading on this thing. What does this read? It reads everything in the water, whether it's good or bad. And honestly, guys, some of these bottled waters, like I haven't seen any less than four, a four reading on bottled water. But I think you see these water bottles that have things added to them, right? Oh, we're gonna reintroduce this, some minerals, this and that. I'm wondering if they're hiding the fact that the purified water isn't as pure as we'd like it. Now I could go test a bunch of bottled water, but even in this Nestle purified bottled water, the reading on the video was like in the 60s. So real quick, let's recap what the reading is with these purifiers. See what I mean? When that TDS reading is zero, you know that there's absolutely nothing in that water. And that honestly, folks, is the security that we need these days. So how can you guys get one of these bad boys from our free giveaway? For those of you that don't know, we do quite a few giveaways on this channel and we give away good stuff. We give away generators, we've given away huge seed bolts from heirloom seeds. This time I talked to the company, we're gonna give away this countertop unit and we're also gonna give away a unit that goes underneath the sink. What do you gotta do to be the lucky winner? First of all, go to the link down in the description. It'll be right next to the special code for our community only that gives us 35% off if you wanna get one of these bad boys on the way. And number two, two things, two things you gotta do. Go down there and at, underneath this video, you gotta hit the more. It'll say description and then more. That's why that's how you can see the whole description of this video. That's where the link is and the information to enter for the free giveaway. Second part is you have to go into the comments and tell us why you think that we need a good purifier this day and age. Do that. Please share this video out so more people can see what's going on. And also again, hit the notification bell on the subscribe button. That way it notifies you when I do another video because towards the end of the month, we will go over who the winner of these two water purifier, reverse osmosis. It's got the UV light in it and everything. Look forward to all the entries and your guys' comments. And again, thanks for supporting the channel and keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you guys on the next one.